Hey everyone. So last year I had done a video on this uh, VS Code extension called vSpace Code, which turns VS Code into an experience very similar to Space Max. If any of you watched that video, you'll remember that the installation process was a little bit manual and there were a, a few rough edges as well. Well, good news, the wonderful folks who are maintaining vSpace Code recently released a major overhaul of the extension. Uh, it's actually now a proper extension. And so I wanted to do a quick video just covering that. So now if we search vSpace code under VS Code's extensions, these two results pop up. One of them is vSpace code, which is an extension pack. And the other one is an extension that is supposed to make the shortcuts in vSpace code a little bit more discoverable. We'll see that in a second. So if we go ahead and install the main vSpace code extension, you'll notice that it's an extension pack. So it actually automatically installs Vim emulation for you as well as a fuzzy search package, and something that I'm really, really excited about, a re-implementation of Magit for VS Code, as well as a nicer file browser and which key. So if you restart VS Code after installing this now, it'll handle pretty much everything for you, and then it'll give you this pop-up saying, hey, some configurations are needed in order to, for you to get started. I'm just gonna click automatic, and it'll merge all of my configurations together. So now if I hit space, ah, this is different from before. Before, if you hit space or if you hit one command, there was no feedback. Now there's feedback. It gives you all these options of what the next key in your command can be. So if you just want the space space menu, you'll just hit space again. And now you get a menu that's equivalent to the control shift P in, in VS Code. Similarly, if we do space and then G, now we have all the commands for Git, and this is no longer using VS Code's built-in Git extension, and instead is using a re-implementation off Magit. So if I hit S, it's gonna open a status that is exactly like Magit status. And if I make a change, the change shows up under unstaged. We can look at it, we can stage it, commit it. Control C, Control C, and that gets committed. We can look at log. All of the things that you expect from Magit are all present here. Then we can hit Q to exit that window, press space WS to split the window, space WK, space WJ. All the things that you expect from space max like bindings are still present. It's just much easier to set up. It has this nice feedback that we can look at and it has magic built in. And then the other new thing it has is it has this nice little file browser. So if you hit space FF, instead of opening a Windows dialog box, you get this nice file browser with like a fuzzy kind of search and you can go inside folders and find files and open them. It's just some additional niceties for people that really don't want to touch their mouse. And then the final wonderful thing that this extension pack adds is the fuzzy search, which is very similar to Helm Swoop. In Space Max, the shortcut for Helm Swoop was space SS. And if you type that here, you get a window that looks very similar. And then we can do this search through the file, find the line, hit enter, and it'll take you to the line. So those are some of the additions and it's much easier to install if you are at all interested in these kind of key bindings or if you've seen my other video. If you haven't, go check out my vSpace code video and my Magit video to understand those two pieces and if you're, you know, see if that piques your interest. I highly recommend it. I think these are the best shortcuts that you can ever have in a text editor. So quick little video about this update. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have something to say. Thanks. Bye.